Hey, thank you for watching this video. There's more online at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and of course, here's the pie guy. All right, this is first grade, module six, lesson 16, and uh, students are gonna still be adding a pair of two-digit numbers where we're, the ones place has a sum greater than 10. So we're gonna, the old language, we're gonna do some regrouping or carrying. Um, but this time, students are still going to be using that drawing as, so that that visual cue helps students understand um, the algorithm. And, and in this case, we are going to be lining up the numbers. It's going to look a whole lot like the standard algorithm, but we're going to be doing it from a, an understanding of that picture that we're drawing. And the algorithm is going to come from the picture. So we're not quite ready to give up the drawing and go straight to the standard algorithm. So we are going to be going back and forth and connecting the visual understanding that's fairly concrete and something that our first graders can understand and connecting it to that standard algorithm. So let's get started. All right, so the directions say that students are going to be using the quick tens, and but they're going to be connecting it to that standard algorithm. So let's see, let's zoom in on this first problem. And the idea is uh, we're going to model 39, so it's going to be 10, 20, 30, three tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine ones, and then 45 is going to be one, two, three, four tens, one, two, three, four, five, so there's our quick tens. And the idea is <clears throat> we want students to connect that to the vertical method, which is eventually going to be the standard algorithm. So how are we going to do this? Well, we want our students to recognize first, let's count the 10. So there's 10 uh, ones. All right, so what do we have? We have, we're going to have, let's see, uh, over here, we're going to have seven. So we have three plus four tens, three tens plus four tens. But we have this extra 10 here. So we're really going to have three tens plus four tens plus an extra ten. And then we're going to have four ones left over. And so it's going to be end up, end up looking like 84. So how are we going to connect that to this standard algorithm? Well, we're going to say, well, nine plus five gives us, yeah, nine plus five gives us a ten plus four ones left over. And the, word, the way we're going to record that is we're going to say, well, that's going to give us an extra 10 plus four ones left over. So parents and teachers, we need to help our students see that here's the 9 plus the 5. And where does this little thing come from? What's this little 1? Well, that's the 10 that we get from looking at the 9 plus the 5. And where does this 4 come from? What's the four ones that are left over? So 9 plus 5 is 14, which gives us an extra 10 plus the four ones. And then we have three tens plus four tens. That's three tens plus four tens. See how we're going back and forth? And where did this one come from? That's the extra 10. So 3 plus 4 plus an extra 10 gives us 8 tens. So the idea is uh, you might even want to label this as ones and tens so that students can see the three tens plus nine ones uh, over here, four tens plus four ones, uh, five ones over here, and then understand that nine plus five, so nine ones plus five ones gives us 14 ones, which means we're going to have an extra 10, and we're going to write it here, plus the four ones left over, and then three tens plus four tens plus one ten. So parents and teachers, do you see how I'm kind of bouncing back and forth between that concrete understanding that our students have at this point and connecting it to really what amounts to be the standard algorithm? So you're going to go back and forth. You're not going to be able to solve a lot of problems because really, if you think about it, in the time that you have, each problem is going to be solved twice once using the pictures, the pictorial representation, and then a second time uh, using that abstract algorithm, but you're really going to be bouncing back and forth between these two. So it's a lot of work to solve just one problem, but that's because 
We're developing understanding, not just getting the answers. Oh, let's take a look at 38 plus 48. All right. So again, we're going to first model 38. Three tens, eight ones. And then 48 is four tens, eight ones. So we're going to write that down over here, 38 plus 48. Now, what are we going to do over here on the concrete side? Well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to count up all of our ones. And we have 8 up here plus 8 down here. So that's 16. So really, we know that we have 5. Well, let's do, let's do it a different way. Let's say we have 8, 9, 10. So let's say we have 8 plus these two. Okay. <laughs> so there's a, there's a 10 plus we have 6 left over. So we're going to have six ones left over. And how many tens do we have? Well, we have three up here, four right here, plus an extra one. So we end up with eight tens and six ones left over. So if we were to look at that over here, what would that look like? Well, eight plus eight is 16. So that gives us a 10 plus six ones left over. So how are we going to record that? We're going to say... 8 plus 8 gives us a 10 plus 6 left over, so 16. 8 plus 8 is 16. So that's a 10 plus 6 left over, 6 ones left over. So see how I'm bouncing back and forth between the picture and the algorithm. Hey, if your students don't understand the picture, don't bother with the algorithm yet. Spend a few more days having your students understand the picture. No sense in moving to the algorithm if they're still stuck with the picture. They don't understand the picture. So um, only do this lesson once your students kind of understand that pic pictorial representation. Anyway, going back here, 8 plus 8 gives us 16. So that's a 10 right here plus the 6 ones right here. So now we have 8 tens left over, or 8 tens because we have 3 tens plus 4 tens plus 1 extra 10. That's three tens plus four tens is one extra 10. And there's our 86. So parents and teachers really focus on bouncing back and forth. Where do you see an eight? It's right here. Where do you see this eight? It's right here. Where do you see the this little one? It's the green. Where do you see this six? It's the red, that idea. Make sure students are connecting these two different representations. And that's the idea for this whole page. And the second page is really more of the same. It's just more practice of drawing the quick tens and then uh, connecting it to your vertical standard algorithm. So we'll just do one quick example, 79 plus 14. So really what the big difference is, the numbers get a little, little bigger. So 79, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ones, plus 14. So that's one ten and four ones. And then if we were going to add this, oh, I might just grab a one from below and take nine plus one. There's my 10. And then I have three ones left over. So I've got three ones left over. And how many tens do I have? Well, I have seven tens plus one ten plus one extra 10, so that gives me nine ten. So we know that the answer is 93. And if we wanted to show that using that standard algorithm with the vertical method, so what are we going to do? Well, nine plus four, how many ones do we have? Nine plus four gave us 13 ones, which is a 10 plus three ones left over. So we really want our kiddos to see that this one is from these 10 right here. And if we want, we could kind of, these 10 right there is connected to this little one right there. And then seven tens plus one ten plus one ten gives us nine tens. And so parents and teachers, the big theme on today's lesson is connecting that visual representation with the standard algorithm. And let's zoom out. And I think that's all I want to say about this page. And that wraps up a really important lesson where we begin 
to connect the drawings to the standard algorithm right here. And that wraps up first grade module six, lesson 16. And if you haven't done so, consider subscribing to my account. Thanks.